Hi, this is Stephen. Today I am going to explain you about the row level triggers using uh, follows class. In triggers, you can also write the follows class. Follows class in the sense, if you are writing uh, more than one triggers on a table and you want to you want to specify the execution order, that is, you want to execute the third trigger first and first trigger second and the second trigger as the last one if you want to indicate the order of execution of the triggers then you can specify it using the follows class in while writing the trigger itself otherwise the trigger will be executed in the given order in what order it is given it will be executing in the given order and if you want to change the order of execution of the triggers then you can specify it using the follows class while writing the trigger itself you have to specify that so we'll be discussing about that in detail i'm writing a simple trigger i'm writing only two triggers you can write n number of triggers that is uh, there is a, some restriction i'm writing more than one trigger that is two triggers on the table student one and before insert this will be triggered my first trigger is six underscore one and this is a row level trigger and doing it before insert on the table students one I'm just printing the line trigger one is executed so executing this six one completed and I'm cre I have created similarly the second trigger where my print statement alone differs everything remains same trigger two is executed so running this Yes, trigger 2 is also compiled. Now, I want to invoke this two triggers, trigger 1 and trigger 2, 6 underscore 1 and 6 underscore 2. And these two triggers will be invoked if you are doing any insert operation on this table student 1. So, I am going to write the insert statement. Let me clear the output. Yes, cleared. Sorry. Let me check the student's table. There is there are two values. There is no gender. Gender value is present only in student table, not students one. Yes, insert completed. If you see this, trigger two is invoked first and then trigger one. So the order of execution is in reverse, you can say first trigger 2 is executed and next trigger 1 is executed but I want to specify a different order where the trigger 1 should be executed first and trigger 2 should be executed the next one so if you want to specify any kind of order then you can change the trigger and you can use the follows class in this way let me show you I have altered 6 underscore 2 trigger like this previously 6 underscore 2 is this one without follows class and now I am re uh, replacing the trigger 6 underscore 2 using the follows class using the follows class I am writing a trigger create or replace trigger trigger 2 before insert on the table students 1 for each row that is row level trigger follows trigger 6 underscore 1 follows 6 underscore 1 means trigger 2 follows trigger 1 means trigger 2 is following trigger 1 so trigger 1 will be executed first and then trigger 2 will be executing so first trigger 1 will be executed it is in reverse way trigger 1 will be executing first and then trigger 2 because trigger 2 follows trigger 1 I'm just uh, printing the statement here I have to use test trigger 2 let me change it as 2 underscore 2 to know the difference I am replacing the trigger it's compiled and I am not doing any change in uh, trigger 1 let me do the DML operation insert operation before that clear the output yes insert is completed if you check the DML output, trigger 1 is executed first and then trigger 2. So you have re re reversed the order of execution of the triggers. If there are more than one triggers, you can change the order. 
first you are running the trigger 1 and then trigger 2 if you use the follows class follows the trigger 1 thanks for watching bye